The Indian Space Agency will ring in the new year with a unique and rare launch as it gears up to launch India's first space-based astronomy observatory to study black holes and neutron stars. It's a bit to understand the end of life of stars and why they still shine after their deaths. Yes, believe it or not, stars also die and our own sun is also expected to die 5 billion years later. Now, a satellite named ExpoSat or the X-ray uh, Polarimeter Satellite will be launched by India's trusted rocket, the Polar Satellite Launch Vehicle or the PSLV, early morning uh, today. Now, I'm also being joined by Pallav Bagla. Sir, very first question to you. Happy New Year. Thank you for joining us this morning. Uh, exciting new launch that we're going to see by the ISRO. Is everything going to go as per schedule? A very happy New Year and what a great beginning. Uh, exploring the universe. That is the purpose of this new satellite mission by the Indian Space Research Organization. And early morning, I got feedback from uh, ISRO that all is well and the liftoff is expected at 9, 10 a.m. So the Indian Space Research Organization ringing in the new year, like you said, for a very special launch to, to learn more about black holes, neutron stars, and to understand how the universe works. And this comes on the back of a very successful Chandrayaan-3 mm -hmm. mission, which saw the soft landing near the south pole of the moon, the Aditya L1 mission, which is on the way to the sun. Hopefully, this week, it should reach its uh, rendezvous point. So a great year for India. And what a way to begin a new year uh, by exploring the universe. Absolutely, sir. Uh, if you could take us to the importance of this launch, I think NASA has been the only other uh, space agency to actually uh, conduct a launch similar to this. Oh, certainly. It's a very unique satellite. Uh, polarimetry is a very special way of understanding celestial bodies, mm. uh, and especially these compact stars, which are very, very uh, gravitationally very important and also very heavy. Neutron stars are very heavy. One spoonful of matter from a neutron star could weigh as much as the weight of the Mount Everest. So India is studying something which we have not looked at earlier that closely. So this particular launch will unravel many of the secrets and mysteries of the universe. Scientists are trying to understand one at one end how the universe was born and at the other end how the universe would end. So this is a special mission to study what happens to stars towards the end of life and understanding the physics of neutron stars and black holes. Black holes are an enigma and everybody gets very excited and ISRO is taking us to specially understand black holes. Right. Uh, Pallav, sir, now before we let you go, could you quickly explain to us how ISRO's poem will in fact color the space today? Oh, that is true. It is a very, very interesting launch. Uh, ExpoSat is one component. The last stage of the polar satellite launch vehicle, which usually gets wasted in space and becomes space debris, the Indian Space Research Organization is going to use it like a space lab or like I say, a frugal Indian space station and 10 experiments, some of them from startups, some of them from ISRO, have been lined up on that uh, uh, last stage of the polar satellite launch vehicle, which will last for about a few months in space. And these experiments are low cost use of a platform which would have really become waste. So mm. waste to wealth, and ISRO showing the way in the new year how you can create value out of what would have become space right. junk. Right. That's a great note to start the new year on.